Hi, Santiago from Upsif here. In this video, we will create our own database and have an in-depth look at the attribute editor. Go to Tools, Upsif, Ultimate Inventory System, Main Manager. Go to Setup and create a new database by pressing the button New. Create a folder for a database. My database. and add your database object inside my inventory database. Once you created your database, you will be able to select your item categories. We will be adding three categories. All, which will have all our item categories. The weapon category. And a consumable category. Both weapon category and consumable category will need a category icon and a description. We could add those attributes on the all attribute. Go to the category attributes and add your category icon. Set the value to sprite. As you can see, we have three variants, Inherit, Override, and Modify. Inherit will inherit the value of the parent. In this case, this attribute does not have a parent. You can see this here in the boxes. The S letter means it is the source of this attribute. Here, under Value, we can see the value of this attribute. This can change whether it is inheriting, overriding, or modifying the attribute value. Here we will see the inherited value, and finally we can set the override value. In the, ca in the case of all, we will set the value of default icon. Under item definition, let's add an attribute for the description. We'll set it to string. We set the description under the item definition attributes because we want to specify one for each item definition. Let's add a default value of this description is not set. Let's go to the consumable item category. Let's add the parent to the all category. As you can see, the default value will be the inherited value. It is the same for the description. We can override this value by writing an override value. This is a description for a consumable. We can also add item attributes if we wish to. For now, let's add a second item definition attribute called heal amount. We leave it to the type of integer. Let's go to Weapon and add a Attack attribute under the Items. Item attributes can be modified at runtime or within the editor for each item uniquely. Let's add a default value of 5. Let's not forget to add the parent to the All category. This way, it will inherit the description and the category icon attributes. Let's now create some definitions for our categories. Let's add a sort item definition, a sword plus one definition, a potion, 
and a big potion. Our sword will have a category of weapon. As you set the category, the attributes will be automatically added to the item definition. As you can see, we do not have a category attributes because the category attributes are specific to the categories. We can set the item definition attributes for the description. For example, this is a sword. The default item attributes will be the default value that an item will spawn with for an item attribute. Here, we are inheriting the attribute of 5, which was set by the item category. Sword plus 1 can be set to the same category of weapon. But instead of inheriting from the weapon category, we can inherit the attributes from the sword item definition by setting it in the parent. As you can see, only the sword appears because the sword and sword plus one are within the same item category. As you can see, we are now inheriting a value of five. We can see that we are inheriting from the item definition because of the I letter in this box. We can click on the box to find the object we are inheriting from. If we change this value to a new value of 10, for example, sword plus one will inherit this new value automatically. Of course, we can override this value if we wish to. We can do the same for the item definition attributes. Let's do the same for our portions. Set the consumable category and the heal amount of five. Let's do the same for a big potion. and give it a value of 10. There you go, you've set up a new database. But what about sword plus one? We're currently using an override for this value. What if we wanted the sword plus one to have the same value of attack as the sword increased by one? To do this, we can use the modify attribute. Pressing the modify attribute, we can set an expression here. For example, let's set the expression of inherited plus one. As you can see, the value is now 11, which is our inherited value plus one. Modify expressions are really powerful. If you wish to learn more about them, look at the documentation. I would like to show you a useful tip. If you added an attribute in the wrong collection, you can move it to another collection. For example, if we added this category icon, but we don't need it anymore, and wish to add it as an item definition icon, we can simply press this button here, move to and add it to the item definition collection. As you can see, it is now added as an attribute for the item definitions. To make sure, we can go to item definition and we'll see it appear here. That is all for this video. You can find more information in the Discord server and in the forums. The links will be in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.